today I'm going to give you a two for one special. We're going to be talking about two cool features from Confluence whiteboards that you can do from within Jira. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And most importantly, don't forget to check out those links down below. I have links to my brand new just published book, my free and paid courses, and of course, my merch store. All right, so let's jump into the video and let me show you how cool it is when Atlassian integrates their tools together. And my friends, if you've seen my other videos on Confluence whiteboards, you're absolutely gonna love this one. Let's jump into Jira and let me show you this cool integration. And a special shout out to our sponsor for today's video, NASA, not another stand-up app. Streamline your meetings with precise and actionable insights. Check the link below to learn more. So here we are inside of Jira, and I'm gonna show you the first cool thing that they have announced. Basically, when we finish our sprints, it is customary to do a retrospective followed immediately, or at least soon after you finish your sprint. Now in the past, and this is, I'm talking in the past past, when I first started using Jira and Confluence on the server versions, but in the past, it was recommended that you essentially go to Confluence and you make a Confluence page and then you have your retrospective there. And of course, Confluence has always had these retrospective templates. But now that we have Confluence whiteboards and Confluence whiteboards is such a more visual tool, we're going to be able to create our retrospective in Confluence using the Confluence whiteboards. And we're going to kick this all off using Jira's UI. So let me show you how that works. So here again, I am in my sprint. Let's assume that we finished everything. We got it all done. Everything is exactly where it needs to be. Never mind the fact that everything's in to do in this example. But we get to the end of our sprint and we hit our complete sprint button. At this point, this is a very familiar screen. At least the top part is. And it's going to tell us, hey, here's how many issues were completed. Here's what we're rolling over to the next sprint or to the backlog, wherever you want, right? You get to pick. And um, this is the new box right here. We have a checkbox that says create a retrospective for this sprint. Finish off your sprint with the Confluence retrospective. So when I click this, it's going to give me a couple of options. So I'm going to click on my complete sprint. And instead of just that page, right, which is right here on the right, I also now have the option to do the whiteboard. Now, friends, if you're not using whiteboards for your retrospectives, I think you're missing out. I do have a video where I do kind of walk you through how to do a retrospective in Confluence whiteboards. Definitely worth watching because the retrospective experience should be a very visual experience, especially now that we're in this very remote world. It is so easy to, to basically recreate the fact that you're in a room, virtual room, and you are essentially dragging and dropping your content onto a whiteboard so that you can have a retrospective. Now, this is, has such a nostalgic value to me because when I used to be in an office, I used to love my retrospectives because we were all in the room. We all had our little sticky notes and we all just wrote down our thoughts and the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? And so this is the closest we can get to that. And the pages, while it was cool, I really, really love the whiteboard. So highly recommend you check out the whiteboard's experience here. I think it's worth it. So anyways, we're going to select whiteboard here and then you just got to place it in a space somewhere. So I'm just going to go to my Alex Ortiz one and hit create. When you do that, it's going to go and automatically create eight, a whiteboard for you. As you can see right from within Jira's UI, we're already in the retrospective template. So we can do it right here or optionally, you can open in Confluence and then go redirect yourself over there. Of course, you can share this with other members so the rest of your team can participate and everybody can have a really good time. So definitely check that out. This is feature number one. Now, we're going to close out of all of this. We don't necessarily need it for this next example. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is sometimes you have a ticket, right? Sometimes you're working in, on a story or a task or something in Jira and you need a little bit more context, right? You need to design something. You got to hash out some logic. You got to do something extra, right? Some auxiliary, I need more context. And so in the past, you go to Confluence or you go to a whiteboard and you start whiteboarding, right? But then you lose, right? We lose the context of the Jira ticket. But now within Jira, we can simply go to any Jira ticket. So let's say we got to create our outline. We'll open this ticket here. And I'm going to make it bigger just so we go full screen, but this will work in the, in the compressed screen as well. And you will notice that we have a rather interesting create button right here. Now this create button, as you can see here, says create Confluence content. So when I click on it, I now have the ability to create a page 
or a whiteboard. And this is really cool because, again, when we're creating an outline, maybe a Confluence page is going to be helpful, or maybe we want to whiteboard stuff, right? Maybe we want to add some logic, some conditions. And so from here, we can simply click on that. We're going to give a whiteboard, right, outline for video, and then again, put it in a space. So we'll hit create, and it's going to automatically, just like we did with the retrospectives, create this whiteboard where we can now start brainstorming, adding our shapes, adding text, dividing stuff, adding stickers, all that good stuff, right? And it's all context aware. We, we are doing this from the ticket. So if I just drop a couple of things on here just to kind of show you, maybe do some connections here, or we'll connect this like this, right? If we do something like that um, and we close our, our whiteboard out, this whiteboard is in here in this dedicated Confluence content section, and we can link back and go back to our whiteboard. So this is a really cool functionality, right? Because again, we are able to preserve, we're able to understand that, hey, this whiteboard is correlated with this Jira ticket, and vice versa from Jira, we can go back to that whiteboard and be able to continue our brainstorming, our designs, requirements, whatever visual thing we're doing, or if you have a page, you can do that as well with the pages. But I, again, I'm a very visual person, so I love this whiteboard. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Jira and Confluence whiteboards, better together. I love it when there's tighter integration between tools. This is a great example of what happens when you use an Atlassian tool suite like the Atlassian tools, right? They're all designed to work together. And this is a great example of that in action. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, you've made it this far, you haven't subscribed. Many of you don't subscribe, but hit that subscribe button. It makes me feel a little bit better. And finally, don't forget to check out those links in the description and comment section down below so you can find access to our merch store, my paid courses, my free courses, and most importantly, my new book that just dropped. So go share some love, go support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. And before we end this video, don't forget to check out NASA, the app that empowers Scrum Masters with full control over their standups. Lead your team to success with confidence.